Hey guys, what's going on? This is Harsh from Team Infinite Beginnings. I'm sitting here with IB Shao Kwan. Oh damn, how, how y'all doing everybody? Everybody making me nervous. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna look away. Alright, so what we're doing right now, we're watching a video of Shao Kwan versus Sean Y. And, you know, it just came to me, like, I want to know where your team came from. Like, what's your concept of Team Synergy? And what makes good Team Synergy? Um, basically, like, Team Synergy, team synergy for me is, like... Not, you know, most people say, okay, how well a character works with another character. People are like, duh, yeah, that's it. Um, it's just how well characters can cover each other's weak spots. Like, for my team, that works so well. Whether you block, whether you don't block, whether you get grabbed, any situation, you still die. <laughs> that, that's that's and, my team. And, and I've been experienced to that firsthand. <laughs> <laughs> no matter what option you have, or whether you're in a positive or negative state, whoever you call out, you still die from that. So um, let's 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 hop into it. So this first match, you know, I decided to go ham uh, with the X Factor only because you know, I, I mean, this, this I mean, Sean Wise team, he's a good player. He, he's a damn good player at that, and I just can't take chances against his any character on his especially team. Especially Taskmaster. Yeah, especially Tas. I mean, Spencer. You know, his Spencer. I, Spencer needs no introduction. Like I, we're going to do a, a video just for Spencer. Yeah. You know, this character is beyond the dumb. So. so why did you cho choose your team the way it is? Like, why Captain America second? Why Spencer first? And why Sentinel is anchor? All right, no problem. Um, Spencer, he, he, he's just, he, whatever, he's just a meat character, son. He, he's, he's ham, he's honey glazed turkey, he's all that, son. So, <laughs> he's not even rushed down. He, he deserves, that's his, that he's best suited on point. Okay. I mean, he can play any part well, except for, you know, middleman. That's the reason I have cap on middleman because um, a good middleman character has to have excellent uh, mobility, air mobility. Like Spencer, he he can move in the air, but in certain scenarios, he, it just he allows himself to get you know mix up for free, which is not good. Like for example, I, I, I'll pick out a time you know in the next match or so. Okay. All right. What about Sentinel? A lot of people think Sentinel is like a clunky character. You know he can't really move as well as he did in Marvel Two. So why Sentinel? Um, Sentinel on Anchor, I mean, honestly, Sentinel, it's kind of like really a toss-up. Sentinel's really good, I believe. I mean, if I was to put him in a tear, A+, plus, you know, um, only thing he really needs to be scary is an anti-air command grab. He has all the tools. I mean, think of it like this. All right, for instance, um, the main goal with Sentinel is to have the homies on the screen. And by the homies, I mean drums. <laughs> so, <laughs> think of your A drones as a as as an air lockdown, okay? And think of B drones as a ground lockdown, and think of C drones as a button lockdown. And once you get the concept of that, it's done, okay? Uh, as, um, for example, A uh, A drones, you know, um, A drones is the one that go down. So if a character's coming in, correct? They can't touch the ground. If they advance guard, they put themselves in in basically a, a guard break, and you don't you don't they don't want that. So they have to eat the mix up. And then, you know, if they're on the ground, I'll do B drones. If the drone's going up, ground lockdown. They can't jump. If they jump, they go back down to the ground. If Sentinel does a, a spit and I happen to do it too early, I could just cancel. <laughs> I could just cancel into <laughs> what you call um, the command grab. All right. If that don't work, let's say they jump. I cover that option as well. <laughs> Hyper Sentinel Force. <laughs> so either way, you're done. And, um... The C drones, you know, button lockdown. If they press a button, they, they die. If they don't press a button, I'm safe. So I'm still in there. And uh, Sentinel, he's, he's damn, goddamn, right, he's putting in work right now. The homies. Yeah, I know. You're playing pretty well. Um, so what about the difference between, like, your vanilla team and your team in Ultimate? Alright, um, vanilla, damn, that was totally um, towards uh, the Avengers. You know, I, I really love Hulk. I love Cap. I love Iron Man. It's just in vanilla that team was garbage. I'm, I'm sorry, you know, yeah, you might hate me for that. No, but well, Captain America and vanilla actually had like an infinite, didn't? He? Yeah, yeah, the infinite. But the amount of work, like I, I, me, uh, here's my here's my theory. Okay, I I, I automatically put um, simplicity over style. All right, if you, if you're gonna style, you just you know you might as well have fun with the game. But if you're trying to not lose, as I like to say. And simplicity is your best bet. You know, that's that's about it. And, and vanilla cap, he just is too much work for putting in. Alright, alright. So, um, we're actually running out of time. 
because we have a time limit here. But what would you say to people who are like undecisive about their team? Like they have a team, but they don't have the third character yet, or they don't have a second character. All right, so they're, they're trying to make a team from scratch. Like, what advice would you give them? Great question. Great question. Okay. Um, think of it like this. You know, I have a few people. You know, I'm um, trying to take under the wing, and you know, my my goal is to help you out. Whatever you need help with, I'm here to help you. Um, basically, when you start in Marvel or whatever, and you're having trouble with team, think of it like this. Okay, your point character, he he needs to have, you know. A good lockdown he, he needs to be you know um, good mobility he needs to have a, a lot of like early early frame moves all right that's the start of the matchup you don't want to you don't want to bring a knife to a gunfight you want rockets and grenades man so I put Spencer he's a damn grenades and so <laughs> that's, that's like a best character if you need help you need to tell me a character Magneto's an excellent point man Spencer you know you have uh, Dante all so. of yeah, zero. I mean, all, the, all these characters are really good. They're grenades. A middleman, he has to, the top quality a middleman has to have is air mobility. If you don't have air mobility, you will be putting yourself in a tight situation. Okay? Um, Virgil, definitely not a good middleman. Okay? Maybe an anchor, but blah, but still. Alright? But, um, and, uh, and, uh, and uh, the last character, the anchor, the top, you know, basically this is a character who can just eat a team. You know who who can eat a team, and and just just make setups by by themselves. Um, in my words, an anchor should be a self-assisted character. Self-assisted. Okay. Now, uh, like in Marvel Two, your anchor would most likely be um, be just your assist character. Mm -hmm. Like I played uh, MSP, so Psylocke did it for assist, and mm -hmm. a lot of high-level teams, their last character would purely be for assist. So you think it's different in this game? where you don't necessarily use two main characters and assist or you can use all three characters in this game and still pull off a win um in this game it's kind of like both and both you know um i feel in this game you do need three you need you need three characters you know to pull off the win it's not so like heavily reliant on the sis but the sis do make a difference you know okay all right man sounds good so we're gonna wrap it up uh, for today, uh, this was Harsh with Team Infinite Beginnings. And, you know, this is IB Shao Kwan. Uh, thanks for listening. Alright guys, thanks for listening.